Hey guys, Ranger Angelo coming at you from G Creek Campground. The reason I've chosen this spring behind us is because there's a special animal I wanted to talk about today. During the winter, our campground is very quiet. And now that spring is here, there is a lot of new noises. You can hear the songbirds singing as they're readying their nests and having their young. You can hear the crickets at night. You can hear all kinds of noises. Well, one noise I hear a whole lot as I cruise through the campground at night is this noise right here. And it's not my stomach. What that is, is that's frogs. The frogs right now are having their babies and they're young too, like almost everything else does in the spring. So if you like to look at frogs or go frog catching, this is the perfect time to get out and come see one. You ever wonder what the difference is between a frog and a toad? I didn't know either. The difference is a frog has very smooth skin. It has to live near water. It has powerful legs for hopping and moving very quickly. And it has a lot of predators. A toad on the other hand does not hop very well. It has mottled, bumpy skin. It can live not near the water and it doesn't have very many predators at all. The reason why is because the toad has the ability to emit a liquid from its body that tastes terrible and smells even worse. So a lot of predators don't like that and so they'll stay away from a toad, whereas a frog can't do that, so they get eaten a lot. Now, what is a frog and a toad? What family are they in? They are amphibians. Do you know another amphibian? Salamanders. Those are also amphibians. You know who gets thrown into the amphibians, but they're not as turtles. A lot of people think turtles are amphibians, but they're not. A turtle is actually just a reptile that lives in the water. So what I want to talk about today and read to you is a story called The Tale of a Tadpole. Okay? I think it's a fun book, and I think you'll enjoy it, because if you're like me and you like frogs, you'll get to learn a lot. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to scooch this camera up a little bit so we can get a better view of the story. There you go, let's see how that works. Oh, that's gonna work fantastically. Okay, the author is Karen Wallace and she's done a lot of research for us. A tadpole is a baby frog. It has a head, eyes, a mouth, gills, and a tail. Gills mean that it can swim and breathe in the water. But when it grows up, it becomes a frog. A frog has nostrils, eyes, mouth, belly, and webbed toes. Amphibians are kind of like the Navy Seals of the animal kingdom. They work well in the land and the sea. Not really the air though, so that wouldn't be right. But frogs do hop, so that's kind of like in the air. The tail of a tadpole begins in a pond. Mother frog lays her eggs next to a lily pad. See, that's mama frog right there, and that's a lily pad. Each tiny egg is wrapped in clear jelly. See all those babies? That's a lot of babies. When you have that many babies together, that's called a spawn. That's a spawn of babies. Inside the jelly, the eggs grow into tadpoles and they wiggle like worms. Is anybody out there pretty wiggly? I bet some of you are. I know some of you are. As a matter of fact, I've had you here for my field trips. They push through the jelly and they swim in the water. They breathe through gills just like fish. Look at how cool those things look. Many other animals live in the pond as well, so they have to share. They share it with shiny goldfish and sticklebacks and great diving beetles. They chase the young tadpoles. Why do you think they do that? Why would they chase those tadpoles? Here's why. The stickleback feels hungry. He opens his mouth wide. 
the little gray tadpoles wriggle their tails and swim away through the water. They don't want to be eaten. A great diving beetle feels hungry too. Oh no. The tadpoles escape and hide in the weeds. Tadpoles are probably pretty good hiders. Soon, a tadpole grows legs with tiny webbed toes. Webbed toes are like flippers. They help the small tadpole push through the water. Isn't that thing looking interesting? It's starting to look less like a fish and more like a frog. It grows arms with long, skinny fingers. Look at that. He nibbles on plants and gobbles green pondweed. Ugh. Aren't you glad you don't have to eat pondweed? I am. I'm glad you don't have to eat it. I don't have to eat it either. Half tadpole and half frog, he rests in the sunshine. He's cold-blooded, so they also like to be, get the heat from the sun. His tail is shrinking. He gets smaller and smaller. Look, long tail. Middle-sized tail, no tail at all. The new little frog sits on a lily pad. His legs are strong now. He can breathe through his nostrils and his skin is dotted with tiny gold spots. Can you see the gold spots? He's a beautiful frog. Frogs must keep their skin slimy. He hops back in the pond and swims for a while. He climbs onto a log. See him climbing on that log with his new strong legs and arms? Another frog climbs up and sits down beside him. Oh, he's got a buddy now. Isn't it nice to have friends? Now full grown, he dives through the water. He's not afraid of the stickleback, and he swims right past the beetle. He's bigger than they are now. My son is bigger than me already, and my daughter is probably gonna be taller than me too. So, just like the tadpole, you guys might grow up and be bigger than your parents. In the pond, he watches and waits. What does he see with his round, beady eye? A fly, a fly lands above him. He creeps closer and closer. What's gonna happen? A big frog jumps up. It snatches a fly with its long sticky tongue. <gasps> Look at that tongue, wow. Look at that. The frog misses his meal. Next time he'll have to be faster. It's like that at my house too with the dessert. If I don't get in there and get a piece, my kids will get it really quick. It makes me sad sometimes. The gold skinned frog chases a dragonfly. It lands on a lily pad. Under the lily pad are hundreds of frogs' eggs. Inside each egg, a tadpole is growing. And each tadpole will grow into a new frog. So, just like we talked about at the beginning of the book, you start with tadpole eggs, and when they hatch out, they have a tail and they live in the water. Then the tadpole grows feet and teeth, and then the tadpole becomes a frog. Now, let's ask some questions. What is wrapped around the tiny frog eggs? Do you remember? It's a jelly that they eat to help them grow before they swim away into the water. What do tadpoles breathe through? Yes, 
They have gills like fish, so they breathe just like fish do. Which has a tail, a tadpole or a frog? A tadpole has a tail, a frog does not. I'm glad I don't have a tail. It would make it hard to put on pants. What is a group of frog eggs called? Do you remember that in the story? It's called a spawn, a frog spawn. How do frogs call to one another? Do you remember the noise? Can you make it at home? Well, if you guys are wiggly at home and you're bored, another thing you guys can do is hop like a frog, which is very fun. And I'm going to have to do it in this slimy, gross marsh and get my shoes dirty. Thank you guys for taking the time to learn about frogs and amphibians with me. And um, if you enjoyed this or have anything else you want to learn about, please leave a comment and we'll try to address your questions in future videos. Thank you.